We're finally planting some sunflowers today. So we have, we took a two by four and kind of crimped this down. This stuff didn't really stay. Um, this is my side, but hopefully it works out pretty good. We've got lots more rye, kind of our cover. Oh, Alex is taking down a tree with the planter. And so he's gonna get this planted. Hopefully everything goes good. Well, here we go. Looks like it's cutting in pretty good. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, we're gonna lift up and oh, back it up. Oh, oh, oh. Back it up. going on everybody um just you know checking in here uh we're still still oh, we're almost done with corn uh we're on our last like 10-ish acres um we got this field and we got a little field um you know for the neighbor and then we should be should be set um you know it's going good we're getting into this heavy rye now uh you know the stuff it's it's, it's dying down pretty good um, but I mean in some spots it's, it's light. This is kind of the main traffic area, but over in there. It's uh, it's pretty heavy I mean, it's it's about three foot tall in spots and pretty thick um, Now we we did wait to plant this until last because We wanted the rye to die down a little bit, you know, let the roots kind of die out Retract a little bit so we could slice into it easier Now that with that being said it has been planting very nice in the places where it is standing up still. Um, so that kind of standing upright, you know, I got the tractor set up so that I'm not running any over. And uh, yeah, no, it's been, been good in those areas. Um, but in the spots where it is laying down, we are having a little bit of problems um, just with being able to cut into the ground uh, to get it to the right depth and you know all that fun stuff so it has been a little bit of a problem but i don't think it's been that much of a problem for us um you know we have been able i've been checking uh, oh where it's been rye it's been good uh, you know been able to play through where it's been some of this i want to say this uh, witch barnyard grass, um, some of this stuff, it's a little, I mean, you can see it here where it's kind of laying over a bit. That's where we get it, it kind of spans the, the seed trench. And if we don't cut it, then the seed kind of sits in that. And then the closing wheel is not able to close the trench. And then the seed doesn't get good soil contact, doesn't you know get in the ground, which, you know, probably is not good for the seed. It's not good for the seed, not the ideal in the ground. But uh, with that being said, um, when I was going fairly slow, you know, now I'm only going three miles an hour, uh, it does seem to have good pressure on the, <laughs> excuse me, a good pressure on the row unit to get it so that it does cut that pretty good. Um, and then, you know, the row unit can get down two inches and get that seed in the seed trench good. And, you know, then the seed, you know, should be good. Closing will close it up behind it. Um, now, you know, another seven days when the corn is gonna actually be coming up, hopefully, knock on wood. Um, this should be much more dead, much more deader. You know, however you wanna say that. Should be much more dead, much less, you know, canopy, the roots shrink up. Should allow the roots, the, the corn, ceiling to penetrate in and uh yeah it should be should be good um you know i've been checking where you know like i said where the rise is standing up it's been you know two inches it gets under down under the seat or the mat of the rye 
Um, not that it's matting, it's still standing upright mostly in the rows. Um, and uh, yeah, it's definitely the where it's standing up, then the closing wheels are able to get in there and close that furrow. Um, you know, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, you can see, you know, the, the row that it's going with, oh, there's a sneak. But uh, you can see, as long as it's going with the row, the row is able to kind of split the grass and it gets down underneath. Whereas if it's, you know, probably like this next pass, um, down in there, then it kind of spans and the seed kind of gets caught on top of the grass and doesn't get it in the ground. But it's kind of what we're dealing with. We don't, we don't have like, I guess ideally, um, the best situation would be to like have, well, A, uh, you know, have less weeds, uh, even because this was a rye field. So if this witch grass wasn't in here, not as much would be laying, not as much grass material would be laying down the rye. Whatever rye is in here, it's kind of standing up pretty good. Um, you know, if you kind of check out like this corner, you know, that's all kind of witch grass. You can see what little rye is in this corner. Um, it's still standing up pretty good. So, you know, that would be A number one, have it so that the rye is the main, you know, plant in here. So it does get to stay up so we can get the seed in there. Um, or B, even where the rye is heavy, we have a roller crimper. Um, a, a roller won't a roller won't crimp it so that it kind of knocks it so that it kills it good, lays it down good. Um, a roller would just kind of roll over. Some might perk up, some might not. Um, so if we had a roller crimper, we could do that. I know they have some. Uh, Yetter is making uh, some planter mounted roller crimpers, but as you can see, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we do have the two by two. So where that roller crimper would sit would be interesting. I don't know if we could get it to sit out like in front of the two by two, um, but you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Or I was thinking they make skid steer, that was very close, uh, skid steer quick attach roller crimpers. So if we had them, this tractor has a loader mount and out front, then we could roll on front, you know, have the, loader and float so that it floats and then you know kind of roll things down that way um, and then if i wanted to roll something that wasn't you know while i was planting i'd have that option but then i'd be a little heavier i like to be light while i'm planting so yeah it's all the trade-offs but it's actually growing pretty good um hopefully once it dies the clear will lay over and then the corn you know will grow up through it um you know you can kind of see in some of these heavier spots like right here, um, it's rolling. It's doing pretty good. I mean, with it only being a four row, you know, the tire tracks are kind of in between. There's a tire track in between every row, which that, you know, kind of makes it so that it will get plenty of light. Um, they're not gonna have spots like the middle here where most of it's standing. Um, see over there, it's, you know, it's, most of the row is rolled, basically. So I guess the tires are pretty good roller crimpers. They have quite a bit of weight on them. So <laughs> it's, uh, that's, act these, that's acting pretty good. Um, and, you know, we should be good, good for that. So hopefully, you know, it gets planted good. You know, I did talk with the neighbor that I'm planting for, kind of gave him the lowdown. Um, and we are on the last bit, so we are planting a little lighter just to make sure we get to the end and don't have leftover. So we're about 28, 27,000 uh, seeds an acre, um, just so we can get to the get to the finish line um, with what seed we got. So we were at 32,000, now we're at 27. Um, I thought, I, I guess I had thought that we might have had more in the hoppers than we did, so probably could have went for another bag um, but I don't know it is what it is we'll see uh, we'll see how much of this actually you know gets good growth you know, I have big hopes for this but also you know the planting you know it's pretty good there is quite a bit because this is like the first root first field you get to um, before he goes to that big main uh, area so there is a bit that has been kind of tracked over um, you know he's been spreading manure 
from the dairy here a little bit. Um, so it is, there is a little bit, but like in this front section here, it's been planting really nice. Um, you know, it's not as heavy. It's kind of died down. It's all rye. You can see it's standing up nice. I'm just able to slice through in the ground better um, and get it in there. And uh, yeah, no, it's been good. We're gonna keep it going. And uh, yeah, keep you, keep you informed.